With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is the value of limit x tends to pi by two. Integer part of x by three divided by ln of sin x, where this denotes the greatest integer function. And the four options are does not exist, is equal to one, is equal to zero, and is equal to minus one. So I need to evaluate this limit. So first of all, let's put x as pi by two. So if I put x as pi by two, I will get limit x tends to pi by two. If I put pi by two here, so it will be pi by two into three, and this will be ln of sine pi by two. Okay. If I talk about this integer part function, so greatest integer function is integer part of pi by six. So if we see pi by six is less than one and is greater than zero, because the value of pi will take twenty two by seven. Okay, or three point one four. So this will be less than one and greater than zero. So in this case, the integer part function is what zero. So this is equal to exact zero, not tending to zero. Okay, so what my limit has changed into exact zero. And if I talk about ln of sine pi by two, then what is the value of sine pi by two? It is one. Okay, and ln one is zero, but x here tends to pi by two, so my denominator will be tending to zero, not exact zero. Okay, since in the denominator I have exact zero, and here it is tending to zero. That means something I have in zero, maybe a small addition or a subtraction. So I can write here that the limit given to me is equal to zero because my numerator is exact zero here. So according to this, if I see, then option C is the correct answer. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.